Today's project is the Can-Am Defender. We are working on an oil change and filter change. We ordered the filters on Amazon. We also ordered the oil. Uh, I find it's cheaper. <laughs> they come right to the door, so it's hard to uh, complain about that. And every place I've checked locally, the uh, bike shops and such, they're a 20-30% markup over what I can pick them up at on Amazon. So we go to Amazon, I, much as I'd like to uh, deal with the locals. When they're that far overpriced, I just, I've got to save some of my own money. So that being said, the defender's outside waiting for the change. So here we go. We're going to let it warm up for about, I don't know, three to five minutes. Get the oil thin, it's about 40 degrees out today. Let's see if I can get this thing off of here without putting oil all over the driveway. Not great, but she's draining. I think she's drained enough. Now, one thing I do with this, one thing I do with this oil pan I have, is keep it corked because when I drop that plug out, there's also a copper ring between the plug and the engine. I just want to make sure I can retrieve that. Okay. There's the plug. And you know what? The ring came with it. Not bad. And the magnet in the bottom here, really pretty clean. I'm going to go in the garage and give it a wipe down and reinstall it. In the meantime, I can drop the plug on the tank. Okay, we 
that drained out pretty good. Put that away. time we do we're gonna put her up on the ramps Twenty two foot pounds. Perfect. All right. No change the oil filter. We just locate it right there. Gonna remove those three screws. And let me find out what size those are and I'll let you know. Now we picked these T-tips up. The one that fits the Can-Am filter is a T27. I hope you can see that. You can see it there in the slot. I tell you what, I use this kit a lot. We picked it up short. I don't think I paid $6 for it. And when you need it, you need it. In the background, it hears some talking. That's the uh, GMRS radio. We like to monitor it while we're out working. There's two. Slide that out. There's your filter. Clean this up real good. Take this O-ring off. 
you should always change the o-ring out to a new one so this is an annual thing we do go through all the uh, tractors lawnmowers side by side four-wheeler we change out the oil filters when required and it's paid off for us you know, we haven't knocked on wood any major engine issues I think the most we've put into these toys as my wife calls them is a battery or two All right, I'm gonna go in and grab a new boring. Okay. New O-ring. And a new filter. Alright, he is tight in here. Light in here. Give you a better idea what I'm doing, maybe. snugged up it's real important to bring these in even because you don't want this cover to crack come in with one you come in with one screw too fast and the cover gets crooked on its mount or in its hole she can crack it's just aluminum. These do not go on that tight. We'll get the spec in a minute. All right, let's clean this up a little bit. Two quarts.
actually looks good right there she's right between right in the middle and what we'll do is we'll take her for a ride and check her out afterwards but I think I'm gonna fire it up one more time Yeah, I think she'll be fine right there. Let it sit for a moment. See if she comes back up after the cylinder's drained. Yeah, she came up fine. All right, she's right in the middle between Min and Max. Done.